Hello and welcome to all. Today I have come up with a new interesting topic called solutions. The solutions are a part of Power Platform and are generally used in Power Apps and Automate. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss all about solutions. Before that, a little intro. My name is Akash and I'm a Microsoft Certified Professional. I have been working with Microsoft Services for the last 10 years. Today's agenda includes what is solutions, understanding the purpose of solutions, how it helps in exporting importing flows and helps in using environmental variables and flows, etc. Then in the end, of course, a little demo on how we create solutions and import them from one environment to another. Many a time we come across a situation where we design a solution using multiple flows. In SharePoint, we often face the situation where both test or dev and production environments are in the same tenant. In SharePoint, we do not have different environments like Power Platform, but we have only a single tenant. So we end up creating two different site collections, one for dev environment and another for production. Now for a new application, we first build the app for dev site collection, the client tests it and approves it. Finally, we take the complete solution to the product site collection. To do this, we export the solution from dev environment and import all the flows one by one in production environment, which is kind of a hectic job and not easy to maintain. Then we update connections from test side collection to uh, production side collection, and this increases the chances of human error. The solution comes in handy in such situation. Solutions are mechanism for implementing application lifecycle management in Power Apps and other Power Platform products such as Power Automate. It groups all Power Platform component in a unit that you build for a project. Let's begin then. I'm on the homepage of Power Automate. Just to show you, the default environment is selected at the moment which I will be using as a dev or test environment. To create solution, I'll go to solutions from the left navigation. You should see all your custom solutions in here, including some default solutions, which comes with every environment. To create a new solution, I'll select new solution from the top ribbon. In the form which appears from the right, you should fill details like display name, published, version, etc., and then click create. This is how you create a new solution. That's super simple until now. I already have created a solution with the name request approval. So I'm going to click on it and use it for this demo. This is how a new solution looks like. It's completely empty and there is nothing in it. So we will start by clicking new from the top and select cloud flow. This will create a new flow in the solution. For the demo purpose, I'm going to create a simple flow where I'm checking if an item in the SharePoint list is modified and sending the items information via email. I will select SharePoint's respective trigger to check if item is modified. The trigger needs some information like site URL and list name. This is my production site, which I'm gonna use later. For now, I'll select demo site, which is my dev or test site. I will select demo site in the site address and candidates list in the list name. This action is done. Now I will select send email action. I'm going to send it to myself with some information like items name and link in the subject and body. The flow is completed now, but this flow is targeting to demo site. And if I'll have to deploy the same flow to production site, I will need to change the URL of the trigger in the flow. A complex project sometimes designed with four to five flows. And in such a situation, one has to change the URL in all the flows manually. To handle this situation in a better way, Microsoft has provided us a very nice feature called environment variables to create environment variables we'll go back to our request approval solution we will again click new button and this time we will select environment variable again a new form will pop up from right and where we will fill some information i'm creating this variable to store site url so i'll name it student site url and i will select data type as text I'm not going to put any default value in it, but I will create a new value with the URL of the demo site. Similarly, I will create a variable for the list name and will populate it with candidate. Now I will go back to my flow. I will have to reconfigure the trigger to pick the URL and list name from the environment variables. Now the flow is ready. Let's try and test it. I'll go to my demo site and try to update an item. Let's go to my Outlook and check if I have received the expected mail. Here it is. I have received the mail with the item name in the subject and link in the body. Now let's check how we can package the solution and deploy it to production environment. 
before proceeding and packaging the solution, we have to make sure all environment variables should be empty. We'll add it all environment variables one by one. Select three dots on the right side of the variable. Please make sure you choose remove from this solution. Once the variable are empty, we will go to the solution again. Select our solution and click export from the ribbon. Then you should have two options which you may choose to publish all the changes in your flow which are left and not published yet and to check any issues if your solution have any that you can do by clicking on the run button. Once done, you will select next. In the next page, you should select export as managed solution if you are deploying it to the production environment and provide some version number. This will start packaging the solution and will download a zip file to your local drive. Now to import the package in production environment, we'll select production environment from the top right corner. Go to solutions and click import from the top ribbon. I'll browse and select the zip package and then click next. This will ask me to create connections for the actions we have used in the flow. But in case you already have one, it will not prompt like this. Once the connections are built, you will reach to the next page where the solution asks for the values of the environment variables we created earlier. So this time I will put production sites URL and the list name. This will then import my solution. This is how managed solutions looks like yellow bar notification on the top. You actually cannot edit anything in a managed solution, which is how it should be in a production environment. Let's check the imported flow. By default, it will be turned off when you will come on this flow for the first time in production environment. You should turn it on from here. Now we will go to the list in the production site and test the flow. I'm going to edit an item again and we'll check in my outlook if I'll receive the new email notification or not. Now I'm done editing an item. Let's check the inbox. Here I have already received the email with candidate's name and in subject and link of the item in the body. This was just a small example how you can use solutions in Power Automate. Likewise, a solution can comprise of Power Apps and flows together as a complete project. This really helps Power Platform developers to follow the application lifecycle uh, like we follow in other projects and that too with lots of ease. So that is all about solutions uh, in today's video. If you have any question or if you have any doubts, please write down in the comments. I'll for sure try to answer your question as per my best knowledge. Once again, if you found this video really helpful, give it a like and if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'm going to post in future, please subscribe to my channel. We'll meet again in my next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.